Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the thrilling Wasteland adventures of Old Man McRib, where we're playing through Wastelanders as a very grumpy, very hungry, bathrobe-clad, geriatric, cannibal ninja with a walking cane. When we left off, we'd just learned that Duchess, the proprietor of the Wayward, has some employees that seem to have gotten themselves lost, and she's asked us to find them. We've agreed based on the promise of caps and a lead on some treasure. Remember, if you're having fun with this series, be sure to subscribe so you catch every episode. I plan on uploading a new one every Sunday going forward. With that out of the way, let's get moving. We'll go ahead and use the tracking signal that Duchess gave us to look for some clues here. We're heading uh, to what we now know is Golly Mine. See if we get into any trouble along the way, but it's not very far, so I think we'll be all right. We know where we're going. We can shut that off. Oh, maybe we'll get a little little action here at Slocum's Joe. Says we need to keep that on, so we'll keep it on for now. Take care of some scorched. Oh, and some commie bots too. Okay. Between all these freeloading settlers, scorched zombies, and communists running around, old man McRib is at a loss. He just has no idea what to do in Appalachia anymore. Can hear a few more running around here. Let's go get them. And we'll need to make our way up to the roof to get the rest. Eat some cane. And now I'll eat you. Thank you very much. Health was getting a little low. I am really starting to get a little worried about this... Uh, this no armor, no legendary thing here that these uh, level one enemies are hitting me as hard as they are. And we'll skip through some of the walk here up to uh, our location. We find some dead scorched, some burned ash piles. So there was clearly a fight here and we find a golly mine production log on one of the scorched confirming that that's where we're heading. Golly Mine, Interstate 59, just some notes about production at the mine. Things were slowing down, not going as well as they were planned. So these scorched uh, appear to be miners that worked there. Maybe this was the foreman and he had this on him, but uh, we get the point. We need to head to Golly Mine. After getting myself twisted and turned around a little bit, we Find Golly Mine from above. Interesting little scene here with a old couch on the rocks and some skeletons here where people decided to spend their apocalypse drinking themselves to death. Which is exactly what old man McRib was going to do in the in the vault, but you know, all these promises of an empty world where everybody would leave him the hell alone, he uh Got excited, now all these people are coming back. Fortunately, we got ourselves out of that little glitch there. We've got some Scorched still alive. That seems like a problem we can easily solve. One down. There's another one shooting. Oh. Old Man McRib is... Too old for this shit. He's not gonna go all the way up there. That's what guns are for. And wow, 
Wow. This is uh, a highly ineffective shotgun. <laughs> I'm really going to have to rethink some of this plan, I think. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to go there, collect a pump action shotgun, and uh, make our way inside. Once we're in, we see more ash piles laying around. So I'm thinking our people went this way. We get a uh, miscellaneous quest to mine coal. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because it's going to be easy while we're in here. Grab a few extra experience points while we make our way through the mine. Nothing too exciting happening as of yet. Corpse. Our lost employees must have... Uh, oh, there's one of our coal veins. Lost employees must have made a little progress here. But not enough. One down. And another one. I hear another one behind me. Oh, just die. And I'm in danger. That's probably not good. But ultimately, inconsequential. And we've got a little bit of loot laying around. I'm not too worried about it. An old hollow tape. Give that a listen in a moment. Okay, gang, the boss wanted me to leave you some instructions, since you apparently can't run this mine without me holding your hands. We're gonna light this place up today. The holes are drilled, so just get the dynamite packed in and wired up. Make sure everyone's a safe distance this time. Tommy, you do not touch the plungers. Got it? You're the reason we're down two guys this month. Carl, you're in charge. Don't fuck this up. And there we have it. Sounds like some uh, very competent and professional management. Take down another Scorched. Some pre-war money, why not? And I see markers for some more coal. And a direction to go for our lost employee. Another pump action shotgun to scrap for mods. Another Scorch hanging out here. Maybe he's a little longer in the process. Not moving so quickly anymore. And another coal vein. There we go. There's our little miscellaneous quest there. 180 something XP for clicking a few times. Okay. No problem. Hey! Uh, over here! Don't shoot! A people! Yeah, that actually doesn't work in your favor. Oh, couldn't kill him. Hey, 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 hey! Tell me you got a stim pack. I'm hurting here. Find your own damn drugs, freeloader. Freeloader? Man, I bet you're a blast at parties. So, uh, you the cavalry then? Duchess send you to save our tails? If you're Saul, then yes, she did. But if you want help, it's gonna cost you. Nope, I'm Santa Claus and you've been a very naughty boy this year. Tails? I don't fraternize with mutants. <laughs> hey, he said tails. Mutants? What? No, I, I, it's a figure of speech. Come on. Uh, look, as much as I'd love to discuss the size and shape of my various body parts, my friend needs help. See, these uh, scorched things have been herring the bar. 
Me and my bot sis Polly got the bright idea to try to nest. Your bot sis? Oh, this is weird. But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. I heard some fighting, but then uh, nothing. I think she's hurt. Look, you've got to find Polly. I can't be the reason she. Look, just find her, please. Are you gonna turn into a scorched? Close your eyes. I'll whoa, make whoa, it whoa. quick. I'm a gunshot victim, not a chew toy. Well, you would Only be a chew toy if to worry about I had my way. Is getting Polly back alive. Polly's your bot sister? What's that mean? It's... Look, when you get Polly back, I'll walk you through every little detail of how I became best friends with the machine. But first, I need you to save her. You think you can do that for me? Best friends with the machine just sounds boring, but Cold one, aren't fine, you? someone better pay me. I'm sure Duchess is good for it. Yeah, now whatever. You get going. And please, tell Polly... Tell her I'm sorry I couldn't be the one to save her. I'm not gonna tell her anything. I'm just doing this for money and treasure and... Slight hope that I might be able to eat you. So we'll make our way a little bit deeper into the mine. Some more low-level Scorched. I thought this would be an instanced area where things would be a little tougher, but honestly, I um, probably shouldn't be complaining. Reduce a little bit of weight. Come here, Scorchy. Thank you. Uh-oh. They're shooting at me. Zombie bastards. Die. Eat some cane. <laughs> I have to admit, the cannibal perk is kind of nice. Makes you a lot less reliant on stim packs as you go. Some more ash piles, so... There must have been some fighting through here. Lose some rads. And this must be Polly. And she's ahead. You are a sight for sore eye. So, those things didn't get you, huh? You happen to see a young man on your way through? Early 20s? Rough around the edges? Carrying about a bullet's worth of extra lead in him? Nope, didn't see him. Know nothing about that. We're gonna lie to the robot. I know nothing about no 20-year-old with a bullet in him. Crap. He must have just got lost somewhere. Yep, he's lost. Look, what do you Hopefully say this means we can you leave and him I there. help each other out? My friend's hurt, and my best guess is he likely tried to make his way back to this little bar near the river, the Wayward. You help me find him, and I'll bake to a crisp anything that looks at us wrong. Well, that sounds mildly interesting. Are you going to pay me for getting you out of here? <laughs> yeah, let's shake down the head for some money. I won't. <laughs> but you can bet our good lady Duchess back at the Wayward will. I guess you got a deal. Never met an Assaultron before, huh? Probably for the best. 
That flashy red pearl in the middle of my face doesn't just complement my scintillating personality. It also happens to fire a multi-gigawatt laser. You pick me up, and give my next servos a twirl, I'll kick off a blast that would make Oppenheimer quote scripture. So, we blowing this gin joint? Yeah, sure, fine. You got a deal. Let's go. That's the ticket. Now, let's... You hear that? Sounds like those things have regrouped. How about we make them regret it? All right. I'm sure you get this all the time, but your touch is incredibly soft. Damn right, I get it all the time. Normally, I would never use an Assaultron head, but looks like more low-level Scorched flying at us, so we should be able to handle it, and uh, why not just do it the way the quest prescribes? at us. Saltron Head's kind of a cool weapon. It's a shame that under normal circumstances it's so completely and utterly terrible in Fallout 76, but that's okay. Yeah, this manual reload thing, everything is just kind of awkward with it. But it works fine for killing low-level Scorched. Yes, you can. See, you stopped. Is that it? Do we have more coming our way? The music stopped. I guess we're done. We're done, and now it's time to report back to Duchess. All right, we'll head back that in here and see what they've got to say. But where's our girl? I've got her. She's right Polly? here. Yeah. Um, Saul was telling okay. me what happened in there. You got a real knack for showing up at the right damn times. Give those degenerates hell. All right. Half the gang reunited. <laughs> I have Just to have uh, actually have equip Polly. Polly's head. Please be okay. Apparently, Old Man McRib isn't the only one who uh, has trouble remembering things and following instructions. We'll take oh, care God. of that. Polly? Whoa. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why, why don't you sit her down? Yeah. Uh, Jug should do the trick. <laughs> okay. Place head. This is real <laughs> snug. That suits you well. At all. Yeah, I think it's oh, fine. Holy. This is all my fault. Solomon, no. Don't you dare. This is not Uh, Duchess, tell me you emptied this out. Did I? You know, I'm 80%. Duchess it's all right. I, I can fix this. There's a robotics shop over in Somersville that... Oh. Oh, oh. Solomon, you're going nowhere. Look. He might feel I'm better if I gave him a stim pack. But is there any chance you might be able to help us out here? I can make it worth your while. Yeah, you better make it worth Find my while. Find this new body. I'll tell you everything I know about Crane and his treasure. Please all right. say yes. Have you actually known about the treasure this whole damn time? <laughs> what are we doing here? Uh, yeah. Have you actually known about the treasure this whole damn time? Honey, it's complicated. But I promise. It's not that complicated. I will walk you through every gory detail if you do this for us. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. 
You expect me to lug an entire Assaultron back here? Really? Oh, don't you worry there. Saul, you still got one of those trackers? Uh... Uh-huh. You tag the body with Saul's tracker here, I'll have my people collect it. Once it's safe. I guess I'll track one down. Based on the promise of treasure. Receiver. Here. The tracker. Just plant that on Polly's new frame, and we'll handle it from there. And here. You'll need this to get into the place. Just leave it unlocked so we can come and get the body later. And make sure it's pristine. No damage, no reprogramming. Factory defaults only. I don't want anything going wrong in the transfer. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, thank you. We'll all owe you big after this. So Saul wants a perfect body for Polly. Sounds to me like a recipe for mischief. So this robotics shop is located in Somerville once again. Old Man McRib has very few fast travel points, so we'll make our way there and see what we can find. Oh, here's a delicious uh, looking scavenger. Didn't you hear? People are saying there's gold everywhere. Yeah, gold? Really? I got here first. Go find some other no, you didn't. I was here first. Enough of you. Uh, health is okay, but eh. Getting a little peckish after that adventure. We'll pick up the fast travel marker for Sutton. And I see a railroad station up the road that I don't have yet, so we'll keep heading up there. Oh, here's another lovely scavenger. Yes, I'm sure it is hard work making a living out here. Looting ain't easy when you have to force your way in. I could really use some bobby pins. Yeah, you need bobby pins, huh? I might be able to help with that. As many as I can get my hands on. <laughs> what do you have on you? I've got plenty of bobby pins for you. Appreciate. I'll give you 20. These will last me a while. You're totally going to keep them. Here's your fair share. Oh, you could give me some prizes? Okay. <laughs> I'm still going to kill you. Oh, and I can't take my bobby pins back? That's very disappointing. That needs to be a thing. They need to resolve that. I need to be able to double cross people, give them stuff, take the prize, and then murder them. That's like half of what's great about a Fallout game. And after unloading some garbage at the train station, we'll get back on the road to Somerville. Bring it on. Oh, we have a raider. And she's hostile. <laughs> she's shooting at me. Wow. Old man McRib murders a, a not innocent person. A clearly blatantly not innocent person. Okay. Well, you picked the wrong guy to tangle with. And some Meyer lurks. Sure, we'll take care of you. Pick up a little Meyer lurk meat. That could be useful later. After all, we're going to robotics shop, so. There might not be a lot of food around. And they seem to have uh, decided to take up residence in this home. <laughs> okay. Well, wh whatever works. Uh, okay. I hear another one, but I think it's upstairs. I don't really care that much. We'll keep making our way to our destination. Here's some gunfire up the road. Yeah, we're clear. Let's head into town and see what all the fuss is. 
And it looks like Somerville is now infested with blood eagles. I should be the boss. If you came here before Wastelanders, it was usually filled with super mutants, but now we've got blood eagles. And we'll just go ahead and eliminate each and every one of them. Where did I put those kids? These raiders are uh, about as perceptive as the ones back at the lumber mill. See if we can shotgun this one down off the catwalk. Clearly our shotgunning skills are highly, highly effective. I don't mean that sarcastically at all. But that one's dead. Okay. Make our way up to the roof. We find a couple more. They don't need to be alive any longer and neither do you. And one more. I hate my thoughts. I hate my thoughts. Don't worry, you won't have to have those thoughts for much longer. As intelligent as they may be, I'm going to take that burden away from you. Ooh, level 21. Tougher. Still dead. And yum. Munch, munch, munch. We'll make our way over to Duncan and Duncan. Head inside and see what we can get ourselves into. Card reader to get in. All right, we've got some useful items lying around. And it looks like we have a robot to talk to. Take a quick look around. Anything interesting going on? No. Skinner. Hello, oh. Skinner. Well now, what do we have here? Are you another ghost? I cannot bring you the peace you require, spirit. Leave me be. Sil <laughs> Silence. I am the ghost of Appalachia Future and I have a demand. Hmm. So I thought. No need to put on airs with me. I understand your plight, spirit. My name's Skinner, and I am trapped in here, much like you are trapped in undeath. Now, <laughs> what do you require to leave me alone? Oh, what to choose? Trapped? <laughs> trapped? You aren't able to leave? It should be open now. <laughs> my duty is myself, spirit. Trapped behind this counter until I finally fade from this world. Someday, but I digress. What can I do for you? This spirit requires a host, an Assaultron body. Well, spirit, unfortunately, Assaultrons are military-grade hardware. As such, all of our machines have already been spoken for. Outstanding deal with the United States military just waiting for pickup. You understand. You're going to give me that body or else. And you'll do what exactly? Kill me? Release at long last? Hmm. As welcome a change as that may be, I really should decline. But here... It's been so long since anyone's given even a thought to what I may want. You'll find it upstairs. Interesting. So we can threaten to kill him and find out that he wants to die. Any other pristine frames you've got for Not sale? for purchase, no. The mint condition Protectron and handy bodies we have on the premises have been spoken for. And our resupplier is already desperately late with our latest shipment. I do hope you understand. Yeah, I gotta go. By all means. Well, he wants to die, and honestly, the somewhat nihilistic robot uh, hmm. Sweet oblivion. kind of uh, does it for me. Someday. <laughs> I'll help you out here. I'll do you a kindness. 
and we can actually kill him. And he has a Protectron showroom key. Intriguing. We'll keep looking around here. Take that key. And I want to go and see all my options here. I think we know full well we're not going to give Polly the right body. But let's just take a quick look around and see how this place is put together. Here's the Protectron showroom. Key card doesn't work. Oh, it's not a key card. It's a key. Okay. Very good. So maybe there was another way to get the key card. I like this. I like how this is designed. You've got clearly multiple paths to complete it through dialogue or force. Deactivate some trip wires just in case. We don't need these turrets having their way with us. Uh-oh. It appears as though they're going to have their way with us. All right. Shotgun's working. I must be close enough. Got to get pretty up close and personal with the shotgun. I can take that. And a level up. Very, very nice. That's going to be useful because this build is not perfected. So what do I want to take for my level up? Oh, there's so many choices. I know I want to move some points into endurance, but... Hard bargain is not that useful on this character. I think I'm going to go ahead and take another point in Lone Wanderer. With no armor, that little bit of extra protection from uh, enemy damage and the AP refresh that I'm not getting from no legendary armor, that's pretty useful for this guy. So let's go ahead and take some more Lone Wanderer. With public teams, Lone Wanderer is a lot less useful than it used to be, but for this character, I'm always going to be playing him solo, so good choice to make. Even that little 5% damage avoidance is, is going to be a big deal for this character down the road. So glad to get that now. This body seems to be in pristine condition. I can attach the transmitter to it, but I'm not sure how Polly would react. Well, I'm pretty sure I know how Polly will react, but that's kind of the point. But still, we want to look around. Let's see if there's any other bodies we can get our hands on that might piss Polly off the most. Would a Protectron body make her the angriest? Or maybe there are some other choices. Pop that key card into the Assaultron showroom. Ah, which also leads us to a Mr. Handy showroom. We could put her in a Mr. Handy body. We've got more turrets and more trip wires. Let's just kill the turrets right from the get-go. Because I don't think Old Man McRib has the dexterity to disarm all those traps. Now it won't matter so much. Nah, now we can just walk through them. That disarms them perfectly fine. We've got a lot of robot models in here, so if you're a collector for those things, you can always head back in here and get them. So same thing, not sure how Polly would react. I don't know. Mr. Handy body is uh, would certainly be awkward for an Assaultron, but it flies, and flying is pretty cool. So I don't know. So far, uh, the Protectron body seems like the least appealing option. Do we get anything else? Is there a Sentry Bot body or a Robo Brain body we can find? There's an Assaultron, and I think that's our only other choice. Interestingly, there are no uh, tripwires there. 
But we still have some turrets, so... We won't take any chances. Goodbye. And a pristine Assaultron body, which would make Polly really happy. It would give her the one she's used to. But, alas, this is Old Man McRib. Old Man McRib is not really interested in making people or robots happy. Unless they have expressed a humorous amount of nihilism and we can make them happy by killing them, like we did downstairs. That guy, that's fine. He can be happy. But Polly, um, I'm just not really that concerned with her. I'd rather see what happens when she gets upset when we bring her a lowly Protectron body. If she'll even get the Protectron body, that's the other question. I mean, the town's clear. Uh, Saul would presumably have access to anybody in here now, so there's really no reason he would have to take the Protectron body, but I guess we'll find out when we return to the Wayward later on. For now, we'll head back and let everyone know the good news. Hey, you got one. Signals coming through loud and clear. Yep, I you know, got one. I don't throw the word hero around a lot. Come over here and let's discuss. And you huh? probably shouldn't start now, but no. okay. I presume you found something that'll work for someone with my natural charm and gravitas. <laughs> Your body's a jug of moonshine. You'll take what I got you. You know, you make a strong argument. I believe I can agree to your terms. You don't have much choice, do I you? I also know you didn't have to stick your neck out for me. I appreciate it. Truly. Yeah, we'll it's see true. how you feel about that later. You've worked real hard putting things right for us. None of us are going to forget what you've done. Oh, but I'm sure you won't. That really just leaves one last topic for us to discuss. Doesn't it? Yeah, Crank. where's my treasure? You ready to listen? I'm just warning you, I can't guarantee you're going to be happy with what I'm about to say. I Follow can me. pretty much guarantee you that I'm not happy about many things, Duchess. So, I've known where Crane is. I know where his treasure is. But, well, there's a problem. Of course there's a problem. And of course you need me to solve it. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a game, would we? Keep going, Duchess. Oh, Honey, yes. We have a problem. You awake? Oh. You want to give him a little nudge? <laughs> you sure you want me to go nudging people, Duchess? All right. Boy, 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 is key. Boy, is key. <sighs> yeah. That's uh -huh. all he You're says nuts. anymore. Boy is key. Over and over. Jesus, Duchess. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing is Crane, Solomon. And what exactly would you have liked me to do with him? Put it out of its misery. Those things are killers, Duchess. Polly and I have the scars to prove it. He's not wrong. I don't recall yielding the floor to debate here. Yeah, there shouldn't be a you debate. He should be dead. Don't you? No. <laughs> Just look at how defenseless it is. How could you not shoot that? Excuse me? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not pretend I'm a nice person here, Duchess. Come on. Serious. That thing could escape. That thing could kill us all. I like, was being like completely serious. Now, I'll take care of it, but you need to let me do this, Duchess. You haven't been paying uh, attention to the I things I've been doing in the wasteland. You're, you're right. Do it. Thank you, Duchess. I'll make it quick. Unless you want to take care of it. Yeah, I'll take care of it because you're a giant okay. wuss. Okay, I'll do it. I'll kill your friend for you, mostly because it's fun. 
And we have a treasure map and an access Would you key. Mind if we just Very good. Take a moment. Of course not, Duchess. According to that map, the treasure is in some kind of special cache tucked away inside Golly Mine, sealed away behind a keycard locked door. Golly Mine? That's where Polly and I tracked the scorched. Son of a. Does that. Did Crane lure those damn things here when he found the cache? Probably. Suppose we don't need to feel so bad anymore. Solomon, too damn soon. Nah, it's not Sorry. too soon. Now, this cache. I tried to check it out myself, but I didn't get real far. You're already intimately acquainted with Golly, so I suspect you've got the best shot at actually laying hands on whatever's in there. Yeah, you're probably so, right about that. here are my terms. I will let you keep said map and access card. No strings attached. As payment for everything you've done for us. But I need your word you'll come back. And buy a drink every now and then. Really? Those are your terms? Well, you don't really have a choice. You're still gonna make me pay for drinks? You bet your ass I am. I have big plans to bilk our new resident treasure hunter for every cap he's got. Now... I can respect anything that. Anything you want to discuss before heading out? Mm, how'd you know Crane had the map and card on him? Yeah, I want to know. How'd you know that? Maybe I have great vision. Maybe he wore shirts with too many buttons undone. Maybe you don't need an answer to that question. You got what you needed. What say you let a lady maintain her air of mystery? Does that mean she was getting down with a scorched? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. Everybody's Good got luck. their thing, I suppose. But uh, that seems um, a little too high risk, at least for my tastes. Anyhow, that's going to bring us to the end of today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Join me next time when we head back to Golly Mine and see what we can find in Crane's treasure. Remember, if you've been enjoying this series, if you like any of the other Fallout 76 content I post, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And until next time... I just wanted a pet. She could have just picked up a hamster like a normal person. Way to step on the exit there, Polly. Till next time, I'm Fisty McRib. Yes.